Today I'm going to be turning this standard bike into a 1000 watt 48 volt machine which should be able to get me up to 30 40 mile an hour i think it's a rear powered motor so i need to take the back wheel off so you guys can watch step by step if you want to do it you can do it at home let's get it i don't have the right tools for this at all i need a cassette removing and installing tool which looks like that so i need to get the right socket or ask them to do it because it'll take him 10 seconds so uh off to Halfords it is. Basically, I'm trying to switch the cassette over. It's a two second job. Yeah. And I just need to know, I think I just need a cassette removing socket thing. Right. This is the old cassette on the new wheel, but it matches up with how many gears there are on this bike. According to the instructions that I said, I wasn't gonna read. Next step is to install the wheel. This looks simple enough. I've done this multiple times. I think, I hope. <laughs> Let's put the wheel on. Let's see if I put this on properly. We have an inflated e-bike rear tire with the cassette on. Oh yeah. The bike wheel is now on and moved, but it's getting caught on something. I don't know whether that's the disc brake or that, because that is really close. The disc looks, how's that look? The disc is rubbing as well. Hi mate, just me again. I've just given the guy the other wheel as form of payment, because he said he wasn't really allowed to work on e-bikes. So, you know what? Good karma and all that. Let's try this again, shall we? Problem solved. The spaces that the kit came with, you just gotta put them in. So two spaces this side for me, and then one spacer that side. And now it spins. On to the next step. It's already taken about three hours, but I've got all day. There's no rush. Next up, the instructions say to put on the throttle and the brake levers. In my case, these brakes won't fit because their gears are built into the brake system. So well, I hope I can just use my standard brakes, but we'll soon find out. The gear thing needs to move this way a bit. So now this can go on and this can still shift. So just remove an Allen key there or loose that little bolt and then tighten that one up to make sure that the throttle sticks. Twists, comfortable position. I can just about reach the brakes. Sorry, right hand. There's my right hand to reach the brakes, change the gears if I want. Also shifted this one over a bit. So now it's flush with that. Next up, pedal assist. This is gonna be interesting. This is so much heavier, by the way, with this rear motor on and there's no battery yet. Oh, fuck. YouTube, it is. I need some YouTube, wait. Battery is now pretty much secured. It's a little bit of a bodge job for now, but it's gonna be able to last whilst I do all the wiring, which is there. That's next, and then we should be able to turn it on, and it should, should, should work. Take a screenshot if you need to look at this, and you're comparing it to your controller. Basically gotta wire all of these wires up with what that says, minus the brake levers and the pedal assist, because I don't have that at the moment 15 minutes later also these blue and red cables i think blue and red are the speed limiter uh so that is this one and this one so if you're doing this make sure you're plugging it in so you can take it on the roads legally everything is now wired up it's a bit bodgy but it should all work let's turn it on this is where i start a fire now let's not joke about that no fire please there. Okay. <gasps> no way. <laughs> it works. I have an e-bike. It's making noises. I don't know if I'm supposed to be making that, but <laughs> I can't believe that works. Man. I'm going to be doing a proper test ride tomorrow or the day after. So subscribe for that. <sighs> and that, people, is how you make a DIY electric bike. If you have any questions about how I made it, I'm pretty sure the video is showing it all. But let me know down in the comments and I'll be happy to answer you lot. Oh, I'm so happy. It's taken me approximately six hours to make. If you've got a bit of resilience, it'll be calm. But if you don't like a challenge, I wouldn't give this a go because it's not for the faint-hearted. But 
it's a lot cheaper than an actual e-bike. This has only cost me 300 pound for that. And then that was free because I traded it up from three shitty bikes. 333 quid it's cost me to make an e-bike. Generally, they're about a thousand pounds. Oh, sick. I'll speak to you a lot in a bit and I'll see you on the test cycle.